Hello, hi guys, it's Ian Am here with the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now I've just come from another Android device being the Galaxy S6 there in the background and I'm going to show you how you can get your message history and your call logs across to your brand new device because if you're like me and you've been texting a lot there's nothing on the device when obviously you set it up there's nothing in here it's brand new so if you really want to get across all your history like your call logs who you've been calling who's been calling you any missed calls previously as well as any chat history then we're going to show you how you can get that across to your new android powered device coming from another android powered device whoops so we'll pick this off the floor and then we'll head across to the play store and download SMS backup and restore completely free application so go ahead and get this installed I'm on the Wi-Fi here so it shouldn't take too long at all now I've used a couple of apps from carbon up before and they're really well made so we'll go ahead and get this opened up now what we're going to be doing is I'll first show you the preferences uh, from the menu up here you can back up to a specific folder and you can share uh, choose where that folder is on your internal storage or if you've got an SD card then within there you can browse to that so I'm gonna not choose anything there you got some backup settings here what you can choose to back up just the logs the SMS messages MMS so I'm gonna choose everything here and you can choose selective conversations if you want or archive mode where every time it backs up it just adds to the same file so I'm gonna choose that and I don't want verification everything else seems to be pretty good uh, you can choose to upload to Google Drive if you want to some people don't like cloud services or having your data elsewhere so if you don't choose that option you can once the data has been backed up you can simply Bluetooth it to your new device download the same application do a restore and Bob's your uncle you've got all the data there but I'm gonna choose upload to Google Drive and it says this feature requires a network add-on app v.3.0 do you want to install yes so it'll go ahead and get this installed so this is an add-on to upload to Google Drive I like to have the data there just so that you can get it across to any device will come out of here and yeah we'll select that it says okay uh, login We'll just sign in with my details here. That's all signed in, so I'm gonna tick only upload on Wi-Fi because I don't want my data to be consumed so much. You can separate the folders from here if you want, and you can delete backups older than a certain day if you want. So I'm gonna leave it as standard, and just to make sure that it works, hit test here, and it says uploading a test file. Just to make sure all the information that we've entered to do with a Google account is correct and it says the file was successful so happy days we can carry on we'll hit save and we've got some individual Google Drive settings here which we've just gone into so we don't need to go and amend those and you can back up uh, your emails as well if you want but again if you're using Gmail or any of the Hotmail or anything like that your mail is backed up to the cloud anyway so you can just change your sync settings so we're done here we can come out of this and just to make sure everything else looks okay that looks good so what we're going to do is do backup and it says select backup folder default internal storage yes because there's no micro SD card in this little baby so we hit okay and we'll let it do its thing and you saw how quickly it backed up those contacts there and it's now doing the the messages uploading each time to Google Drive and as you can see backup completed 727 hit close now it says if the phone has an internal and external storage then the backup gets created on the internal card by default if you intend to replace your factory reset your phone then please make sure to make a copy of the backup file common sense really so we'll hit OK to this and that's now in the cloud so what we can do is move across to brand new Galaxy S7 so the first thing that we need to do is download the same application on this brand new device so SMS backup and restore go ahead get that installed as I say I'm on the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi shouldn't take too long at all now we're not going to open it up straight away because remember we backed up our old device to Google Drive so we need to locate those files 
So head on over into Google Drive and you should see some files relating to calls and SMS messages. The one which says backup.est is that test file that we did. And we're specifically interested in the calls XML and the SMS.XML. These are the files that actually have the data. So open the XML one for calls and hit the three dots in the corner and select open with. It says what you want to open it with. We'll do SMS backup and restore. And now it says what you want to do with this file. Well, I want to restore it, duh. And uh, what we'll do is now hit restore. So it'll go through restoring those 500 odd call logs. Bingo, here we go, restore completed. We'll hit close. Now it says sometimes a messaging app can stop responding after restoring a lot of messages. I'm presuming this is when you've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of messages. In such cases, restart the phone and keep the messaging app open for a while. Okie dokie, we'll hit OK to that. Now the next thing that we want to do is restore the text messages. So we're going to hit back here and back again and go down to sms.xml within our Google Drive. Do the same thing again, hit the three dots in the corner, open with and then SMS backup and restore. It says what you want to do with this file. Hit restore and boom, it selects uh, the file here. Incidentally, if you had a micro SD card from your old device to your new device, you'd hit that and select whatever the file is on your micro SD card slot. So that's selected, we're going to hit restore and it says starting with Android KitKat. Uh, only the default SMS app can restore messages. SMS backup and restore is currently not the default SMS app. Tap yes on the next screen to set it as the default app for the restore process and then try again, which makes sense. So we hit OK. Do you want to make it a default app? Yeah, we can always change it back afterwards. So that's now done. So we hit restore and it's going to go through a couple of hundred text messages. Bingo, restore completed of those text messages so we'll come out of this and it says sms backup and restore is currently the default messaging app if you keep it as a default then you may not be able to send or receive messages you'll need to open messages and set it back as a default app which is okay we understand that so we hit okay and it says sometimes the messaging app will not respond blah blah, blah. same as before we hit okay now that's pretty much done so if you come out of this go into calls or the phone calls you can see i've got my logs there i've got my favorites i don't have any favorite people to be honest <laughs> so and then i've got my regular contacts there as previously so i've got my logs have i got my text messages so we hit okay it says it's not the default application which is fine this will set it back to being the default application so we hit okay here and it says your current messaging app is sms backup and restore so it says, do you want to make it or make the change? Your messaging app will be changed from blah, blah, blah to this. So yes, that's correct. We hit yes and boom, Bob's your uncle. I've got all of my couple of hundred text messages out here restored to my brand new device. How cool is that? Now, as I say, if you've got a micro SD card you want to restore from, just go head on into the, the settings where it says restore, tap on here and you can select the area where you want to restore from and that'll do the trick. Same for your text messages and you can, I don't think I've actually got any uh, SMS messages but that also does the same thing as well. How easily you can move from one device to another, one Android device to another Android device taking all your core logs with you and then if you don't want the application, you can just uninstall it afterwards. Or if you want to keep it, make it regular backups all the time, you can do so with this application uh, using the archive feature if you chop and change devices quite a lot and you want to have those logs, kind of like a message history if you need it in the future. So there we have it, guys. How easy was that? As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe and tag along on social media at in am Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And I'll see you next time.